So today we're going to hide one or two of these links that um, everybody doesn't need to see. We need to put or uh, rearrange them and um, in order. So first of all, all right, there we are. Um, we're going to rearrange this. So the first thing we do is um, go and locate where this file is. Remember where it is. It's somewhere. We'll go to our resources. Let me um, close all this. Um, we'll go to resources. Then we go to layouts. Then um, let me brighten this. We'll go to layouts. Then we'll go to menu. So this is where all the menu are. As you can see, there are three, me four menus. We're going to work with um, this QR code. We need the transactions first because all users should have access to transactions. All users. And then uh, only, so I think I should just put them in comments. All, oh, sorry. This is how you give comments in Blade, this way. This is how you give comments in Blade. So all users should have access to this. Then um, only webmasters. should have access to uh, these two and then admin should have access to uh, we have to put roles at the bottom so the roles we put them at the bottom so this one will be moderators this will be moderators and of course finally we have admin only admin should have access to this Admin. All right. So what we're gonna do right right away is um we start making it possible using if statements. So using an if statement, we can do. I think. Um, we can do uh, if the person viewing this is an admin. If of user role ID if their role ID is one is one then we should display this so and if and if so this particular um, option should only show if the user is an admin in our own case I am not currently an admin if I refresh it will be shown it's gone the um, roles option so we want only admin to be able to change people's roles period okay and then so so if an admin employs a new staff as moderator admin should be able to go to their profile and change their role so we're going to do the same thing again just in a similar way for the moderators so if in the in the case of the moderator admin should have access to that too so we're going to say if the role id is less than three if it's less than three that then it's either one or two so which means it's an admin and if so which means the person is either an admin or a moderator so admin and moderator should have access to this all right cool now we're gonna do go for the third one which is um i don't think we should separate these two uh but we can uh depending on how you want to build the platform if you don't want normal users to be able to create qr codes great maybe they should do some application or something i think we should have that uh we're gonna do the same thing in this case we're just gonna do if it's less than four right if it's less than four then they are a webmaster so we can do and if and then the last one uh, everybody has access so we don't need to do anything here all right so if we go here we'll see that nothing will really change because i think i'm currently signed up as an administrator and there we are i'm currently an administrator so nothing um is affected so there's another way to write this uh, maybe it will be more elegant and um, let me show you the way like here we're gonna say we can do something like take this if statement put it at the bottom which means um moderator should be able to see anything uh i mean webmaster should be able to see anything below this 
But then this if statement also prevents them from seeing this. We can take this and go down again. So depending on how you want to arrange, we can do this for instance. Um, this way, put it down here. You see, so um, uh, webmaster C from here below. That's what this means. And then, uh, but here also only moderators can see. Only uh, moderators can see from here below. Then only admin can see from here below. So um, this will make sense if you have so many menus. There are some platforms you'll be building. You have so many items on your menu. So it, this kind of arrangement makes sense. But in this platform, we just have four or three, so we, it can still work just this way. If statement here, yeah. if statement start end, if statement start end. All right. So in the next video, this is we're just restricting um, um, view that they shouldn't see the option. Uh, for instance, we're just restricting that they shouldn't see the option. Now I'm logged in as a moderator. What if I just come here, knowing that there is a rows model and I do rows, hit enter. You see, um, if somebody knows the correct URL, they can still access it even without um, being able to see it. So we need to actually block this. So even if you know the URL and you try to visit it and you're not an admin, this page will not show. It will throw an error. We need to get to that point. So see you in the next video.